Hello, I'm about to give you a quick tutorial on the Amazon jailbroken 6 inch Fire HD device. It's about a 6 inch device. As a point of reference, this is like a regular CD case. Set the CD case right on to the top of it. You can see about the scale of the device. This is my hand. It pretty much covers up the device. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. The power button is here in the top left. I mean, the device, the screen will go vertical or horizontal. I just hit the power button, so it should be powering up here soon. Make sure I hit. There we go. So it should be coming on. Once it comes on, as you can see right now, it's set for the vertical mode. It's gonna flip after it logs on to recognize that I have it in a horizontal position because that's gonna be the best way to show you the videos. Just letting it do its normal boot up. Could have started the video with it already booted up, but just wanted to show you the device is fully charged right now or it should be at no less than about 95, 94%. It comes with a power cable and power source, which you'll see in the pictures. And ultimately, if you get one of the devices, you'll see it there. So when the device comes up, I'm gonna make it go ahead and switch around the landscape. There we go. All right, it is locked. However, there's no password associated with it right now because it's not registered to any particular account. You'll need an Amazon account if you wanna fully access the things that are outside of what I've programmed on the device already. All right, your main two apps, Kodi and Mobdro, are loaded on your home screen. As soon as you get to the device, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to get onto it and uh, do what you have to do. So, if you want to immediately register this device to yourself, all you need to do is take your finger and scroll from the top. Once we scroll from the top, you can go to settings. Alabama is the name of my wireless network. Um, all you would have to do is click the wireless icon, you find your own home network, and then you actually go ahead and you know, type in your credentials so that you can put this device onto your Wi-Fi. I'm gonna hit the back button to come out of this particular section. Come out, there we go. So, uh, I wanna register this device to myself, so I would go to personal. When I get to personal, I will simply go to my account. This is saying that, hey, the device is currently not registered. You sign in with your Amazon account and now this device is registered to you. All right, I'm going to hit, hit a shortcut here to go back to the main home screen, which is right here, the circle. All right, so first thing I'll show you is Mobdro. All right, Mobdro is showing me the recently viewed channels, but bottom line is this is all about live TV sources. First thing I'll go to is sports. You click on sports, it'll have ESPN. I'll scroll quickly. It'll have, uh, you know, it has a WWE network. It has international as well as American live sports channels. Um, and it'll go on and on. It has Fox Sports 1 and 2, I know, and just a lot of different sports, or a lot of different channels dedicated to particular sports. Uh, golf channel, it's gonna go on and on. So for now, I think I'll click on uh, Fox Sports, which is Fox Sports 1. All right. High quality live stream is what you get. Click on the middle of the screen. I'll get the stop button to stop this particular feed. And I'm gonna hit the back arrow. The back arrow will take me out of this one and get me back to the main screen. All right, we'll jump into a little bit of ESPN there. Sports if, Center if is currently on. Fan, that's the scenario they would take it. All right. We're coming off a game where the offense was Patriots shut fans, out. I love that. What's the Hit the back button again. I'm in the main menu. Now I'll go to the top left to exit out of sports and let's go to news. Cool thing about this is you can take this device anywhere you go. As long as you have high speed internet, you'll be able to watch high quality video anywhere. It's pretty portable being a six inch device. It has a headphone jack into it, so you can plug in your headphones. All right, we exited out of that. It also has a, a Bluetooth capability. So I'm gonna come out of Mobdro. One thing, another thing I wanna show you is that when you go to channels, it's gonna list every channel that this thing has, which is, going to be plentiful. It's going to have all the major networks here in America, as well as networks uh, that are international, such as BBC, ITV. It's, 
it, this app, uh, Mobdro, is fully loaded to watch live TV. So um, obviously I sell the fire sticks and the boxes, but this one is more geared toward that person who wants to be mobile and watch what they want to watch on the go, given that they have a high speed internet connection. So I'm exiting out of Mobdro altogether. I'll show you this. You hit, see me hitting the circle a lot. I'll hit the box, the square. It's going to show me everything I've opened since I've logged on to the device. So I'm going to exit out of everything. Just good to not have background uh, programs running in the background. Okay, so this is Cody. Let's do this. I want you to see how to get to Cody from the very beginning, which is this icon right here. All right, so we're inside of Cody. Once you get inside of Cody, you want to scroll over to videos. That's where you want to be. Exodus is the main app to watch TVs and movies. We'll go inside of Exodus first. Just click on it, allow it to open up. The first thing you'll see is movies, TV shows. You mainly want to stick there. Um, let's go to movies. When I go to movies, it's going to sort it by uh, the movie type, the genre, or it'll take you to the year that the movie came out. You can search for particular stars, but let's just go and do the year search. I clicked on year. It's going to say 2016, 2015. Important to note that if I click on 2016, it's going to show me the movies that basically came out this year. You see all of the Suicide Squad. If it's a movie that is still in theaters, it's not out on DVD yet, the quality is not going to be high. So I don't recommend watching those that are still in the movies. Um, I'd rather look at a movie that's already out. So we'll go 20, I just, I think I hit 2014. Yeah, we'll hit 2014. All right. So these are the movies that came out in 2014. I'll go ahead and uh, let's see. Make sure hit something family friendly. So we'll go to Maleficent. And then these are all actual theater movies. There's no um, adult content on the devices that I program. Just didn't want to put something on that'll be gory. It takes about 30 seconds for the device to pull the sources to watch any TV show and any movie. So it's rolling through. Generally, it takes about 30 seconds. All right, you see the working in the bottom corner. And here we are. It showed me all the sources to watch the movie. I'm just going to click on any source. It really doesn't matter which one I click on. All right. It's going to be just about immediate. If one source doesn't work, just hit the cancel button and it will scroll down to the next source immediately. Um, this video is beautiful. It's going to be high definition. It's going to look and sound good, especially when you put on your headphones to watch this. If I'm watching a particular movie, I want to come out of it. What I'll do, you saw I just tap anywhere on the screen. I'll hit the stop button. Now I'm back at the last menu that I saw. The last menu that I saw were the different sources to watch that movie. I'm going to scroll from the left here. All right. I hit the circle button, which took me to the home screen. Let's get back inside of Cody, back inside of Exodus, which is underneath videos. Let's go. As I'm trying to show you, I'm hitting a couple buttons. There we go. All right. Let's go to TV shows. You get to TV shows, same thing. It'll sort it by what network the show comes on, what genre. I always go to most popular. We'll do that right now. Just touch most popular. It's working in the bottom left corner of the device. And it pulls up all the icons for the TV shows. Um, these are just simply the most popular shows, probably shows that many of you may like. Uh, let's get to... We'll go ahead and go to the blacklist. All right, the blacklist is going to show every season of the show up to the current episode. So if I go to season four, I'm not sure if it's ended yet. All right, so there's two episodes of the show right now in season four. If I scroll over to 
the second episode. It's going to give me a synopsis of that episode. It's going to show me the original air date. Um, I'm going to go back because I want to show you that it has every season in every episode. I just clicked on season two. Same thing. I scroll throughout this wherever I scroll to. Season two, episode 15 aired on March 12, 2015. It gives you a summary of that episode. I'm going to go ahead and touch that episode called The Major. As soon as I touch it, it's starting to do what you saw before. It's pulling all the sources to watch that particular show. Sorry for the video moving. Using a handheld device. I'm trying to show you the handheld device. All right, again, this takes about 30 seconds. All right, here are all the sources to watch it. I'm gonna click on the first one. All right, so sometimes you'll see this. Um, you never have to go on any website to watch any stream simply hit cancel and it's going to keep scrolling down until you see it went to number three number three says the same thing and it's going to scroll down to number four and continue to go after i hit cancel there we go so now i see working in the bottom right corner it's found the stream you never have to go anywhere to register or anything to watch a video all right hey, episode is on All right, For the second time, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. I'm going to hit the home button to get back to the main menu, which is right here. All right, now live sports. A lot of people will want to watch live sports. We're going to go to videos and we're going to go to video add-ons. I just click the add-ons button and we're going to look for Castaway which is a good one to watch live sports. I just touched Castaway, it opened up, gives me options. I wanna click on live sport inside of Castaway. All right, let's hit the back button there. Okay, when I get, wanna look at live sports, the one that I'd like to use is Dime Sports. So when I go to Dime Sports, it'll give you the categories. Football is soccer, American football is the NFL. Then you get baseball, fighting. Um, you, get a, you get a bunch of different sources. Fighting would encompass UFC as well as the WWE or whatever mixed martial arts is on at the time. Um, we're gonna, I was trying to get to American football. There we go. It's Monday, later on tonight, this is the game that's gonna be on. If I open up either one of the links, they shouldn't be working right now because there's no game on right now. But all you do is touch the link, and then it's gonna show you all of the sources to watch it. I do not expect it to work right now because the game is not on right now. So it may pull up the channel that's gonna be showing later, but likely not because the game is not currently on. And it did not, just as I expected, the game is not currently on. So I hit the back button, hit the back button again, come out of this. And let's see, I wanna show you another option to watch live TV. Castaway was the first one we looked at. The next one you wanna to go to is Sports Devil. When I get inside of Castaway, I like to go to Dime Sports. When I get inside of Sports Devil, same thing. I'm gonna to go to Live Sports. After Live Sports, the first one I like to utilize in Sports Devil is First Row knowing that each one of these is a source to watch live sports. So if your game is on, if it's not working in one app, just go to a different app uh, within Castaway or Sports Devil and you should be able to watch it. Same thing, I'll click American Football. It's gonna show me any games that are on or coming on today. This also shows you college football games on Saturday. This thing will be loaded because it live updates showing you any games that are on so that you can watch the particular shows. Just wanted to show you that. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go to the home screen. Another way to potentially watch the shows that you wanna watch is to get inside of US TV now. It's only gonna have a few channels, but these are the channels that basically the games come on on Saturdays and Sundays. 
I just touched live TV. Let's do it again. And now these are the basic stations. These are not your local stations. These are somewhere, an ABC, a CBS. I know the CBS is out of Pennsylvania, I believe Pittsburgh. So I just touched CBS. It's operating the stream, meaning it's opening it up so we can see it. And it will open. Um, it's just catching up to the stream. I'm on a high speed internet connection. Never have trouble operating. Play on Broadway until December the 4th. Up next, an adorable farewell by the royal family. How the youngest British royal gave Canada a very enthusiastic All goodbye. Right. You're watching CBS this so, morning. Stop that stream. And I'm going to get back to the home menu inside of Cody. All right. So they this is pretty much it for the tutorial video showing you how to get to live sports showing you how to watch live tv um actually i'll do one more thing before we exit out of here if there's a show that you just didn't see listed inside of exodus or a movie that you want to watch let's show you how to use the search tool self-explanatory really i just clicked on search what am i searching for a movie or a tv show we'll click tv show there's an old show that robin williams used to star in in the 1980s called Mork and Mindy. So I'm gonna type in Mork, M-O-R-K. I just typed in Mork. Now I'm just gonna hit done. When I hit done, uh, this will apply for any TV or movie. It's gonna show me the sources and voila, there we are, Mork and Mindy. All right, uh, the show had four seasons. We'll go to season number two. Season number two, uh, let's look at, and same thing, it'll show you the original air date. Um, this episode came on in 1979, and the name of it is Mork versus the Nucratons, <laughs> part one. So let's check that episode out. I just touched it. It's going to do the same thing it always does, pull all the sources to watch it. And by the way, this device will come with a protective case as well. This is the six inch Amazon Fire HD. Has Kindle app on it once you log on with your account. So you'll be able to utilize it as a regular Amazon device as well as an enhanced device that has these uh, apps on it to watch uh, videos and movies. So I'm going to click on any stream. I just touched the second source to watch it. Let's do that again. All right. <clears throat> Anytime I get an error message, all I simply do is find the next source. This one is working. It's about to pull up. When you see working in the bottom right corner, that generally means that it's found a reliable source and you're going to be able to watch whatever it is, whatever it is you're trying to watch. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's buffering, which does happen from time to time. I'm on a high speed connection, so I'm not really worried about that. And there we are. Okay. One of my favorite shows. All right, so now I'm just gonna, once again, show you how to get back to the home screen. Gonna scroll from the left and I'm gonna hit the circle. All right. This is the demonstration for you, 94% on it. Remember that you have to put it on your Wi-Fi when you get it. And I recommend going ahead and registering the device from coming from the top. And then we'll hit settings. After I hit settings, I will simply go to my account. You go to wireless to register the device. All right. Thanks for watching.